we will talk now about the compressor system classifications so this is a single case single section a three stage compressor single case single section three stage compressor and this is a single case two section six stage compressor six stage each stage represents each in that so here we see that the gas we cool the gas this is the symbol of cooler so we cool the gas then it again is being compressed again the cooler is installed for achieving volumetric efficiency because for the hotter gas we would need greater volume to accommodate gas at such high temperature this is a two case two section and six stage compressor and this is a series network we have we have two separate uh, cases and this is a parallel network of two centrifugal compressors here we have installed the nr node non return bar or the check bar now we will discuss very important property of the search in the centrifugal compressor for every speed there is a certain capacity the logistic operation is unstable this breakdown point is called search search is a term associated with the low flow that for a certain rpm the minimum flow point is search surging point it is a phenomenon resulting from the inability of the turbo compressor impeller to produce the amount of energy that the process system requires we will further see how the search produces <laughs> it is a high speed phenomena flow reverses can happen in less than 150 milliseconds Pressure rapidly fluctuates. Noise is generated. Temperature increases. It can be very rapid, and mechanical damage can occur. The intensity of surge varies from application to application, and it's proportional to the density of the fluid. So, greater the density, greater will be the surge, and greater will be the damage. Now we will see uh, from the compressor curve how the surge is produced. Here we have the volume. volumetric flow along the x axis and a compression ratio along the y axis and we hear this is known as a compressor characteristic curve so this is the compressor curve for a specific speed and mass and this is a normal resistance being felt by the compressor so for that flow we have this much resistance in this circuit so for surge for surging the flow starts reducing so when the flow starts reducing the resistance felt by the compressor starts increasing so here we see that q2 is less than q1 and compression ratio has increased so this is an compressor characteristic curve and where the curves are shown for at various speeds this is the minimum speed and this is the maximum speed and this is the surge limit the minimum flow point where we want the flow to the right side of this line we don't want the flow to cross this line because this will lead to the damage and this flow it is the maximum flow this is known as flow wall or choke limit beyond this point the flow does not remain stable in the compressor and this is also a power limit imposed on the overall power of the system and this is the process limit that this compression this pressure ratio must not be exceeded so this is the safe region where we want our compressor to continue so our main purpose would be to run the compressor in this system and to achieve this we have we use the anti surge control system We will further add margins for our stability of the compressors. We further add margins. Then we see that we have added margins. So we can say that the margin is ten percent. Usually, a ten percent standard margin is used. So we want the compressor to fit in this region. The, this is further uh, safer region. We will talk now about the compressor system.